I'd heard very little about it. And, and we uncovered testimony, and I'm sorry that I didn't get a copy of the film to you prior to this interview. We uncovered testimony that's never been seen or heard uh, on this case um, of people that came to came in direct contact of a live creature, unknown creature, in broad daylight. People that allegedly drove the creature around in an official capacity for the Brazilian military. Doctors that took autopsies and x-rays of the creature, all on camera, all testifying as to what their first-hand experiences were with this case. And I promise you, as sensational as the trailer might come across, mm -hmm. moment of contact, it delivers. You will believe this case after you watch this movie. After, oh. You know what? Not watch the movie. After you hear the testimony of the people that were there. I mean, look, it is uh, astonishing doesn't cover it, but it's an astonishing story. Um, I ha Like you say, I haven't had a copy of it, so I haven't seen it. I've read about it. Have you got pictures of the creatures? <laughs> That's, uh... You're sounding like a man who has. <laughs> But, but, but can't say right well, now. Let, 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 let me answer the question by, I, I'm just trying to not expose our contacts and also tell your audience what kind of what I know. Mm -hmm. uh, we have located both photographic and video evidence, yes. Okay, well, that's, so, that's a stop. I mean, that's going to work. I'm not trying to evade the question uh -huh. or spike. Yeah. I don't want that to come across the wrong way. But it, uh, to answer your question, yes, we have. All right, you've got the material. And is that material, which presumably isn't in the documentary, are you going to release that at some point? Will you be able to? Uh, uh, it's not in the documentary yet. Yet. We have... Uh, God, there's so much stuff I'd like to go into, and I just don't want to... Uh, I don't want to compromise... I don't want to compromise or jeopardize our efforts. But just well, Plus, also, we've got less than two minutes, so... There's not much we can say. I, not try, no, I don't want your audience to think, you know, what is this guy just dancing around this, this issue? Just imagine for a moment, yes, we have located the evidence, and we've offered an extremely large cash prize for said evidence, and we're working on it. Right, right so you know where it is, and you're, trying, exactly to, you're exactly trying to obtain it. How cool is that? It. That is, speaking to me from the location that you're speaking to me from, that's a hell of a thing to drop on the world. But if you're going to drop something like that on the world, you might as well do it from where you're standing, James. That's <laughs> astonishing. Look, I, mean, <laughs> I love talking with you. We need to talk longer. Um, what's the take... All right, since I've only got 45 seconds, what's the takeaway point that people should gather from this? That a UFO crashed and that beans were recovered, beans were captured, recovered and eventually we have compelling testimony flown back to the united states of america i'm continuing this story as an ongoing unfolding story but that i want to find out where ultimately the bodies ended up we know they're in the united states uh and who has the authority to release this evidence and again i, I tell your audience i do not expect you to believe this because it's too outside the realm of believable but i promise you in my 30-year career i would not put my own reputation on the line if i didn't sincerely and honestly believe this happened moment of contact is the name of the documentary james fox who's in new york you lucky man thank you so much we need to talk about this again i need to see the documentary and james fox if you can still hear me have one of those beautiful american breakfasts for me because i am longing for one of those you know with the hash browns and the real orange juice and all the rest of it thank you very much for bearing with me this week it hasn't been the easiest week and i think we got there thanks to mark and the